Hello everyone, Vanguard of Valor here, and welcome back to another episode of XCOM Enemy Within a Long War. So, the war may be long, but hopefully it continues to be generous to us, as we have been able to acquire a heck of a lot of credits all of a sudden. 845 total credits, very nice indeed, combined from a couple missions and... Uh, a end of council, end of month report from the council. We have a lot of stuff to spend money on, though, so let's get spending. First thing first, building facilities. We're sitting down a laboratory here. We've been waiting on being able to build this for a long time. We just didn't have the money or the power available. We had other things to build. Now we can build it. We're building one of those. That extra 30% speed for our research is huge. Next up, we're going into the officer training school and buying squad size number two. This is another huge deal. Confirm that sucker. Fantastic. That'll give us eight soldiers per mission, which might give us a better edge. Now, what else are we going to do here? We're going to go into engineering, build some items. Specifically, we need laser cannons. Let's see what these things do. Ooh, ooh. That's like 15% better base aim than our regular weapons. That's awesome. Aggressive gives us a 70% chance to hit that way. That's, that's really good. It's a long-range medium fire rate, which I think is an improvement from our missiles. Medium damage, low armor penetration. So these are like avalanche missiles. Okay. So let's, well, we shouldn't make all, uh, six of them then, because we're still going to need people with armor penetration. So let's make three of these. That way we can equip half of our current uh, fleet of airplanes with them. I kind of want to make some shiv weapons, like a super heavy laser and probably heat ammo and auto loader and maybe weapon gyros or an ammo belt, but I think we're going to have to hold on to that for later because there's more stuff we need to buy. Specifically, we need to be able to make ourselves a laser sniper rifle. There we go. Finally, get one of these suckers. Very nice weapon. Very nice looking weapon. Let's manufacture that thing. There we go. And... Uh, a scatter laser, so we actually have the ability to shotgun people with lasers as well. Submit that order. There we go. Interestingly enough, although all the laser tier weapons are the Exalt weapon design, the scatter laser is not because Exalt don't have shotguns. So that's kind of interesting. Okay. Now, if we take ourselves... We have 109 credits left. What else do we want to buy? I think we want to buy another scope. Because with eight people on a mission, we're going to need more of these things. They're really useful. Let's submit order for one of them. There we go. We only have 41 credits left. There's a bunch of stuff I'd like to buy. Like, I'd like to get the Enhanced Lasers project. Maybe even Enhanced Ballistics, just for the fun of it. Just to see what that does. Uh, but at the moment, that's not looking too good. We have... For money, uh, money wise, anyway. We want to build ourselves a satellite nexus down here, but as far as I can tell, there's no point in building this thing until we can actually afford to build the satellites, so three more satellites, and like six more planes. <laughs> so, I don't know exactly how useful that's going to be for the time being. We're going to get that soon, though, no doubt. Because we really want to up our satellite game. For now, though, this is looking decent. I guess we just spin the globe and get our UFO analysis completed. Lots of people coming back to active duty, which is really useful for us. The abductor is complete. What does this say? The abductor appears to be better protected than other ships of this size. Perhaps the aliens particularly value the abduction and research missions they're used for. High durability, heavy armor. Oh boy. Well, we do a little bit of extra damage to them, which is nice. I think now we have to get Illyrium, though. I want to go advanced body armor. I want to get these quick ones, like Xenogenetics and Experimental Warfare and Seeker Autopsies and such. But I think we actually have to get Illyrium, because we only have 10 power left in our base. We're going to need more space soon, because there's a lot of stuff we need to build in there. And without Illyrium generators, we're not going to be able to get any of it. So we're going to research Illyrium here, and hopefully that won't be the end of the world. It's really slow, and takes 35 Illyrium to start, which is a lot, but we need it. So let's see if we can get alien metallurgy here. Very nice. Let's carry on. Anything else we can do? Can we get all the way down to laser cannons? Satellites are up. And... Ooh, alien abductions. Okay. We have... Ooh. Ooh. New requests here. Let's go take a look at those before we deal with this. We can't... We can't fill them. But what are they? Drone wrecks and laser rifles. Guys, ask for things I can do, please. And not navigation computers, because I'm not giving you those. All right, well, that sucks, but there's nothing we can do about it. Let's deal with this alien abduction. Oh, oh. 100 credit reward, but that's a heavy alien activity. We've never seen anything heavy before. Let's confirm this mission. We're going to send some people on this mission. I'm guessing there's going to be cyber disks for a heavy mission like this. Bring eight people, though. That may make a big difference. 
Uh, cyber discs probably. Mm, let's bring Dozer here. Does Dozer have heat ammo? Dozer has heat ammo. I want somebody who has shredder ammo. Doomsday, you're coming on this mission. Okay. Probably mutons, cyber discs, and a bunch of other junk. We'll see how this goes though. Let's bring one more corporal, and the rest of our people are going to be probably lower ranks. We'll bring Liang, maybe. Dead on arrival. He's done good work for us in the past. He's one of our only infantries, though, and I don't really want to spend them on missions that don't need them. We only have three, four infantry on the entire team. We're gonna take him, though. Liang, I have a feeling you're gonna be needed here, after all. What's your aim, anyway? You have 78 aim as opposed to Okoro's 83. Okay. Um, what else are we going to bring? Let's bring some Lance Corporals after that. So we'll bring Ruben Myers as our medic. Who else are we going to bring? We can bring Fericiani as our... No, she's a she's a Corporal. Bring lower rank people. We'll bring Hoda Samad on this mission then as our assault. We could bring a Mokaro as a scout. That seems good to me. What else can we bring? We need a Rocketeer so Leon Wu can come along. Why not? Decent aim on them for a Rocketeer. Not as good as Suleiman, but still decent aim. And... What else do we need? We have a Medic Scout, Assault Gunner, and Rocketeer so far. A Sniper might not go amiss. We already have an Infantry as well. Do you have an Engineer yet? I don't think we do. Let's make... Let's make Kohler here into an Engineer, because his aim is not very good, but his movement is really high, so that's a good thing for him to be in the future. So we'll Engineerify him with the Grenadier skill. There we go. Oh, need to equip him later, whatever. And we have one slot left, I think. One slot left. We have a mm, Gunner, Infantry, Medic, Assault, Scout, Rocketeer. And let's bring one rookie on this mission, so we can train somebody new up with that eighth slot. So let's bring Heinrich Fischer, since he has the best aim out of any of our rookies. Okay, let's quickly gear these people up for battle. We need to make items available first. Otherwise, we're going to have a hard time actually fighting anything here. Auto laser for you. You have shredder ammo, so we want your shots to be able to hit so you can shred your enemies. Let's give you a scope. There you go. Flashbang seems fine to me. Liang, you're going to need the heavy laser rifle. You're going to need a, la a scope, rather. Flashbang seems fine, so you have a bit more versatility. Myers, you're going to need a normal laser rifle, and the rest of your gear looks fine to me. Samad, you're probably already kitted out. Yep. Arc thrower, flashbang, shotgun, that looks good to me. Oh, Carol, you look like you're already kitted out. Yep. Leon Wu, you need the laser carbine and the scope as well to increase your accuracy. Very nice. I might take Yablonska's scope away and give it to the rookie so he can actually shoot. You can have a laser sight instead. Alright, Kohler. I don't actually know if I can, I don't know if I actually have enough laser weapons for this. Hmm, that's a problem. You have an SMG because you're going to probably want the movement so we can take advantage of the double alien grenades I'm giving you, which I'm gonna assume are gonna be pretty good at taking out cover again. Although we'll see how it plays out. They've been pretty good in the past, even though you don't have Sapper yet. Fisher, you need a laser weapon, so I'm gonna give you the last laser rifle. Actually this is working out perfectly. You can take a flashbang and a scope. Flashbangs in here somewhere. There it is. Okay. So that should be pretty well kitted out for us. We have a lot of good useful stuff here. <sighs> let's see how bad this is going to be. Urban block, let's do this thing. Launch that mission. Oh boy. I cannot wait for us to get absolutely ravaged by this mission. Begin the assault. Here we go. The drop site for this operation will be in Canada. Heading to Edmonton. We're still seeing dozens of reported abduction attempts coming. I think I've actually been to Edmonton once. I don't remember we'll much about it though. The site of the latest report. Okay, well, let's do this thing. Launch that mission. I'm guessing this is just like a block of stores. Yeah. High ceilings in here, though. 
Strike one has the green light for deployment. Okay, we're not seeing much yet. Do a quick look around. It's only one layer of building, so that's good to know. Does it go far back? It goes pretty far back, yeah. Okay, so there's a couple buildings. There's a lot lengthy mission as far as width goes. Don't see a whole lot yet, though, so let's move up and take a peek. Now, we should have our scout somewhere near the front line over here. There's O'Carroll, good. So let's move you over to this taxi and see what you see. Hello, that's three sectoids. That's actually not bad at all. Huh. You're flanked now, but, I mean, it's, it's sectoids. That could be much worse. Um, What else do we do here? We don't actually have a sniper on this mission, do we? No. That might have been a mistake. Um, let's move our people up so they can see things. Fisher, get you over here. You should have a shot at some targets. What's your aim looking like? 57, 42, 42. That uh, 57 is looking pretty nice. We need to take out this guy, though, unfortunately. Can we get anybody else close enough to do damage without getting... There we go. Exposed from being not in cover. You can get to the front line there, Myers. What do you see? You have a 45 and 230s. Not very good for our aim chances here. I really don't like the idea of standing out in the open either, but we might need to in the end here if we can't get anybody to a better position. Because a lot of our soldiers can't see these guys, and if we can't take them down this turn, this is going to suck. So we need to shoot at this guy with Carol. Even if we don't hit him, we need to ping off the hollow targeting effect so somebody else has a higher chance to hit him. Myers, your aim is pretty bad. Fisher, you have got a scope and a laser rifle. You're going to take your shot, the 52 here, to kill this guy. Please kill him. That's another big miss. All right, game. You're not uh, not doing what I need you to do here. 40% chance to hit this guy with Myers. There's a hit, but he left him with one health. We need to move up and take an aggressive position here, but there's really no good way to do this because there's just no cover anywhere nearby. Kohler can make it over to here, but that might actually uncover enemies. Now we're good. He might have a flank shot at one of these guys. Doesn't look like it, though. He's got a 33% chance to maybe hurt that one, which is not what we need. 28 to ping some health off that guy. That's incredibly unlikely. Yablonska, I do not want to do this, but I'm doing something dangerous with you. You're going to stand out in the open over here. 48% chance to kill this guy. You have to do it. Thank you. All right, so that removes the flanks on most of our team. But these guys are going to be a serious problem now. So we're going to be doing some very, very poorly thought out moves here. Liang, you're going to be moving down the street over here. We need to protect our team as best we can. This is the only easy way to do it right now. You can potentially throw a flashbang. Nope, not far enough. You can then shoot the 50% chance for a kill guy. Please kill him. That's not what we needed from you, Liang. We need to kill these guys dead, otherwise we are in some serious trouble. Alright, Liang Wu, you're going to move up. You should have a decent shot. I might actually get you to rocket. You don't have snapshot yet, though. So your rocket aim is not going to be very good, and you can't hit him from here anyway. You have a 72% chance to maybe kill him. Take the shot. Oh, three damage and one was blocked by the armor. Kohler, if you can kill him, that'll be a better chance on us not dying. Nope, 33% was pretty low odds, but we needed to try it. Samad, I could rush you up to here with an, a run and gun, which would be a bit of a waste. But then you'd at least have a chance to ping some more damage on him. We're going to try it. We need to try and kill as many of these guys as possible, because that was a very unfortunate starting placement for these aliens. Thankfully, we didn't trigger anything new. 29% chance is atrocious, but shoot him anyway. How's your aim? Not good. All right, this is going to be a very bad turn for us. Thankfully, they're actually backing up. He's going to not... No, he didn't mind meld. I thought he would. This is going to be a shot at one of our exposed units. No, he hunkered. What? That was lucky. That could have been very bad. Okay. Well, I'd love to run and gun with Samad again, because we're going to have a hard time killing this guy now. But at least we're not dead yet, and that's the important thing. So, with our Rocketeer, who is standing out in the open here, do you have a good chance to rocket them? Yeah, a decent chance to blow them up. I don't really want to blow them up. But, I mean, not dying would be quite nice. I might not move you yet, then, so I might take that shot. Liang, what's your aim looking like? 30% on the guy in cover. That's not really a surprise, because he is in cover. Samad, you could move. Where is our scout? Oh, Carol, you could move as well. But your movement's kind of blocked by the people all around you. 
was no cover you can get to in one turn. Kohler could make it over to this corner, but that's bound to trigger some enemies. Let's move him anyway. That's what we're looking for. Here comes the Overwatch. We're really far away. We should be safe. There we go. Might have wanted to move the scout first there, but honestly, I'm not too worried. We've got ourselves into position. Did not find any new enemies. You can actually take a potential really easy kill here with your exposed chance. Let's take that. Please kill him. Thank you for the four damage critical. Very nice. Okay. That makes our situation much better. You've got no ammo left, but that doesn't actually affect your movement speed or your ability to use your grenades, so that's actually not that bad. Uh, Fisher, what's your aim looking like? You have a 27% chance to hit him. These are really bad shots. Myers, you're gonna come over here. This will be a flanked position if you can't if we can't kill this guy this turn though, so I gotta make sure we get rid of him. Samad, I need to move you into cover. Seriously, I can't have you sitting around like this. We're gonna move you over here for now, and we're gonna give the shots to people who can actually use them. Oh, Carol still can't quite make it into cover, but I bet you Wu has a decent chance of hitting this guy anyway. You have a 42% chance to hit him, Wu. I'm gonna move you over here, so you're a bit closer to the fray. You're gonna take your 42% chance to kill this guy despite his hunkering. That's a big miss right there. Okay, that's unfortunate, because I was counting, kind of counting on that one. All right, a Carol, you're gonna move for the fun of it over to the open. Honestly, it doesn't matter. If we don't kill this guy, he's gonna be a problem for us. So you're gonna move over here and take a shot at him to give us hollow targeting against him, so we have more accuracy. I don't care if it's a 20% shot right now. We need to reload you guys soon, unfortunately, because we are wasting ammo like crazy people. Liang has a 40% chance to hit twice, so we're probably gonna try and count on that soon. But, first of all, we're going to bring Deblonska up to here. I do not like standing out in the open like this, but right now we don't have a whole lot of options. You might suppress this guy if we completely fail to kill him. Fisher is going to come and stand over here. Fisher, how's your shot looking? 43% chance, take your shot, you got it. That's what we were looking for, good shooting. Somebody got him eventually. A lot of wasted ammo there, but at least the enemy's dead. That's the important thing. So, we're going to dash Liang into here. Stand against that high cover. Bust down a window, which might alert some aliens to our presence, but really that's not so bad right now, is it? And we don't want to move up, because the last thing we want to do right now is trigger more enemies, so you guys are going to overwatch here and we'll take a turn of uh, sitting in place while we recoup from killing a very easy squad of sectoids who just happen to be incredibly difficult to kill. So, can't quite get to this meld with Kohler. We're going to move close to the meld, though, and see if he discovers anything in this room. There is nothing in this room. That's good to know. All right, so you're going to go stand right here, maybe? You're going to reload, actually. You can get there next turn for free, anyway. There's something out there. I know there's aliens over there. Reload for now, though. It's more important. There we go. Okay. Now, our team needs to get over to that front line. Otherwise, we're going to have a hard time actually contributing to a battle that happens. Get Liang over to here. There you go. You're probably going to overwatch there, friend. And we're going to send Hoda Samad over to here, right by the very front, so she'll be able to help with anybody who tries to burst in through this doorway, because she has Close Encounters, or whatever it's called, Close Combat Specialist. Emma O'Carroll, you're going to move into this uh, desk here, and you're going to reload, because you need some ammo. Ruben, you're going to move over here and stand beside Liang. We're trying to move into a position here so we can stabilize, get that meld, and then get into a better spot. Fisher, you're going to stand in the corner here because it's pretty well defended, and you're going to reload your weapon because you don't have much ammo left. And who's else in the street here? Yablonska is. We need to move her into cover, so she's going to book it over to here. Move with her full movement range. She's got plenty of ammo. There we go. Her shredder ammo should hopefully come in useful, but we haven't had an enemy who needs it yet. And Leon Wu, you're going to come in here as well and chill out by the counter. Everybody else who's still available, you're overwatching. Let's see if anything bursts through this doorway this turn. Quiet. Apparently there's more meld over here too, but I don't see it. Oh, that door's open. Aliens, you moving over here? Not that I see, okay. There's supposed to be more meld in this direction too, but we're going to move and grab some of it. Probably not with Samad. We'll move Kohler. Yes, Commander. Grab this meld. Hand, Eight meld. That's what we like to see. Okay, that's good news. I'm tempted to go peek around this way and see what's trying to get the flank on us. 
but there's no good cover here for me. I can move with O'Carroll, who's our scout, so she might not be a bad choice for this. Let's have O'Carroll stand here and see what she sees. Two thin, three thin men, okay. Not good, but not the end of the world. 34, 49% chance on that guy. That's a pretty good shot. Take that shot. Big miss. We hollow targeted him, so somebody else might be able to kill him now. Negative. So, nobody else here is going to be able to see these guys, I bet you. Yep, yeah, nope. Not looking good. Jablonska, I want to move you up, but I also don't want to get you covered in acid. You're going to come stand over here and see what you see. You see all three of them. Grenade range is not long enough to throw. You have a 38, 38, 63. Take the 63. Please kill that Thin Man for me. Nope. Four damage, but you shredded him, so that's a super easy to kill Thin Man, as long as somebody else can hit him. Let's move Fisher over here. You can see one enemy, presumably the guy behind the high cover. Yep. You presumably also can't throw your flashbang that far, because he's the your range, so just take a normal shot. 42% is not terrible. You hit him. That's good. All right. Pinging some health off these guys is what we want to be doing. Leon Wu, I could stand you over here, but then you're at risk of getting flank shot. I can move you over here, but then you're at risk of getting killed by the zany acid damage. 82% chance to finish this guy off. Take the kill there, Leon. Do not miss. Thank you. It looked like a miss, but you killed him. Good. Leon, you're going to move over here to the desk. And from here, you're going to overwatch in case he tries to come towards us. He can't see you, so you should be safe there. Kohler, you're going to overwatch in case they come through this door. Samad, you're going to stand over Move here, maybe. Don't have much to do with you this turn, unfortunately, Samad. You're going to overwatch there. Myers, again, I want to be able to do something good, but I don't know what to do. I could smoke grenade, but that's not going to reduce their ability to hit you with acid. So these guys are probably going to get acid-coated this turn, which is going to make our lives much more difficult. So I don't know what I want to do with them instead. Hmm. Really not sure what the best course of action here is. Instead, then, let's just throw the smoke grenade. Protect us as best we can. Can I get everybody? No, but I can get at least these five, which is pretty crucial. So let's protect them. I probably should have moved you back around the corner first. But at least they're not going to die now. Actually, you still have another action. That's right, since you are... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what that was. Whatever. Let's just move you back into this cover. And we'll see what these aliens do on their turn. Running up to get the flanks, maybe? Or at least trying. Ooh, five damage shot there into our rookie. Thankfully, he didn't die. What else is going to happen here? You're running up. You're also going to shoot at him, I bet you. No, you're spitting acid at him. No, you're shooting him. Thankfully, he didn't get shot. That's a pretty valuable thing. Okay. Any other alien activity this turn? Not that we see, although apparently there's another meld canister over there. That's good to know. All right, well, I'll be back in one second, and then we can continue this battle. Sorry about that, guys. Sometimes you just need to leave in a hurry. So, we're back. Let's try and actually take this guy out now. This thin man should be an easy kill here for Fisher. Let's move right you around to here, so you should have a massive accuracy shot against him. Ping this guy to death, please. 100% chance to hit him. This should be an easy kill for you. There we go. Eight damage crit. It's exactly what we wanted. Now, we know there's Meld over there, which we might try and push out and get, but first, we need to deal with this friend. So, what is our accuracy looking at him with O'Carroll? That's a decent first shot, because it's going to make him be more vulnerable to subsequent attacks. Or we can just try and blow him up with a well-placed grenade here, because I believe... Oh, actually, Samad's over here. Or the Kohler's over here. He could potentially get to a position where he could throw a grenade if I ran him all the way over here and lobbed it at the wall. But I kind of want to take him over this way and see if there's anything hiding out there. But the thing is, I'm kind of worried there is something hiding out there, and if he's out there by himself, he's going to have a hard time protecting himself. Jablonska, I'm going to move you around the corner to here. You're going to take a shot at this guy. 63% chance to hit him is pretty good. You got him for seven. Ooh. Ooh, that's very good. Now, I want to try and capture him if we can. Can I get close enough to go for a capture attempt? I can, but then I also can't be in cover, which I don't like. If I stand here with O'Carroll, what are the odds of me being able to capture him? Should be 55%, right? I'll take a 55% chance to capture a thin man. We got him. Good. All right. Problem solved. Now we have to worry about whatever's hiding over this way. So we're going to send our team over to this doorway so they can go check it out next turn. 
We should be more or less safe from whatever's hiding over here. I was kind of expecting this level to have much tougher enemies, since it's apparently heavy as far as the enemies go. But let's move Kohler over to here, and we'll bring along some support as well. Bring some mod over to the doorway. She can run and gun next turn. She also has another arc thrower if we want to try and capture something else. Leon Wu, I'm going to move you in this direction, but you're going to reload this turn. want you to have some ammo in case you don't want to be shooting with your big weapons. Liang, you're going to come over in this direction as well, even though I don't think you're going to be able to contribute all that much. And we'll see what happens here. You're going to overwatch there, Kohler. We should be... Hello! I was about to say we should be safe, but then they throw down two Seekers. And a whole bunch of floaters. Alright, well, that's that, I suppose. Stealth moded? Alright. Unfortunately, I just moved my entire team away from this window, where they now need to be. That's pretty nasty. Let's open this door, since this is where we are. Are there more enemies here? Not yet. Alright, Samad, or the Kohler, I keep calling you the wrong name. You're gonna move over here, and you're gonna throw a grenade this turn. Thankfully, you didn't see anything new, which is what I was counting on here. So if you throw an alien grenade here, you should be able to blow out most of this cover, and you should be able to deal a good amount of damage to these guys. So chuck that over there. That's some very good damage on those enemies, in fact. I like that very much. Now we're gonna actually... Oh, he's, he isn't hidden. You're gonna get dead there, Fisher, if I don't get you healed up. Unfortunately, our medic is very far away from you. So, how do we want to handle this? I kind of want to move my people over in this direction into cover so they can take these guys out more safely and also be protected from the Seekers back here. Jablonska, you can see him with a 53% chance to hit because he's flying, isn't he? How are we going to handle this mess? Well, Leon, you're coming back over to here. First things first. You're going to overwatch there, maybe. Or maybe even fire a rocket. Can you fire a rocket out the window without... Nope. Your aim is really short after you move. That snapshot penalty, or rather not having snapshot penalty, really does hers. Um, we could run in here with Samad, who will be able to get to this cover and then shoot somebody to death. So let's do that. Run and gun with Samad. She can get to here, and that should be an easy Location kill on this confirmed. full health, rather high health enemy. Point your gun at him. Kill him dead, please. Do not leave him with one health, I'll be so mad. Good, seven damage, that's exactly what we needed. So, two enemies left in here, not a lot of health on them. Leong, you can't really get in there. I'm gonna move you over to this doorway. Now you can see things, that's good. You have a shot at him 90%, a shot at him 45%. Take the 90, I guess, so we're not wasting your shot here. Since you have a good chance to insta-kill him. 10 damage crit. You didn't even need the grenade, but he wasn't cover before, so that's the big difference there. We could take some mod or other air... I'm getting so confused with my names. We could take M.O. Carroll a little bit closer and worry about these guys later. Who else do we have? We can still move. We have our medic, who's probably going to need to heal up our rookie so he doesn't get killed. O'Carroll, you're moving into here for now, and you're going to take a shot at this guy. 44% chance to kill him off. How's your aim? Not good enough, it looks like. Nope. We can see the meld out the doorway, but I don't know if we're going to be able to get there. I can move Myers into here and take another shot with him, but then I can't take a shot, or rather take a heal on this guy. He might just run, though. We might be okay still. I'm going to move you into yeah. here, Myers. From here, you should have about a 40% shot. Yep, exactly 40. Another big miss, though. That's not what we need to see, game. Ah, damn it. They're going to be able to come over and flank us now. That's unfortunate. Leon Wu, you're going to Overwatch here. I could have you Steady Weapon instead, but I think Overwatch is the better action right now. I can bring Yablonska over to here and have her take one more shot at this guy. She'll be slightly exposed to this guy, but she should be safe. From here, you have a shot at him. 48% chance to kill him. How's your shooting? Another big miss. That's not what we needed to see right there. Fisher, you need to run, dude. You need to run like the blazes. So you're going to run way back into this high cover to get yourself out of harm's way. You can come back and join us for the fight later. There you go. Now what are these guys going to do? He's probably going to hop over this way and shoot us. No, he's suppressing somebody. That's actually kind of convenient. I was expecting him to do something much more dangerous. Now we might be able to capture him with our assault. Seeker comes over the ridge and gets overwatched by Leon Wu, who's not going to do too much damage, but any damage is damage. 
Now this is going to be a flank shot on somebody from high altitude, most likely. No, it's not even a shot at all. Well, I guess I shouldn't complain about that. Unfortunately, I can't move into here because all the ground's on fire, so I can't capture him, though, even though I otherwise might have been able to. I also can't flank him, apparently. I can't move quite far enough to do the flank shot. Let's move you over to here, Samad. You can see out there. You can get that next turn. 46% chance to just end him. End him. Thank you. Was that a miss? No, it was a kill. Good. All right. I was worried there for a moment, but we were okay. I might get a uh, battle scanner toss from O'Carroll out here to protect us against this guy, but for now we're looking okay. Can you see him, Leung? No. Can you guys see him? You can't see him either. Kohler, you can run all the way up to this doorway, so you're going to do that. Take your way to the front lines with your tiny little baby gun, though. You're not going to be able to do much damage. O'Carroll, you're going to stand on top of our captured friend there, and you're going to throw your battle scanner out the window. Can you really not throw the battle scanner out there? Alright, you throw the battle scanner over there so we can see if we can find the hidden enemy. Scanning target area now. There he is. Alright, so we should be able to gun these guys down this turn. We have a whole lot of firepower to throw at them, so let's see what we can actually get done here. Can you see either of them? Myers, you can. Good. Because that means I can move you up, you'll still be able to shoot, and I can move Leon to there and he'll be able to shoot. So from here you have two targets, you can shoot the high chance for a kill or the low chance well neither of these are high chances do the one your high chance to actually hurt though since he's low to the ground four damage is good damage he resisted two damage from that hit though that's pretty good for them let's move Leong into here he should have another good shot of that guy and you should be able to kill him this shot 90% chance to hit 75% chance to kill that should be an easy kill for you thank you very much there good work Woo, you should have a shot at this guy with high accuracy. Probably low chance to kill him because of his resistance. You missed him. Wow. Okay, that sucks. Well, we got to deal some more damage to this fiend. So let's move Yablonska over to here, and she's going to take a shot up at him. She has hollow targeting as well, so it's not the end of the world if she misses, but she killed him. Is that mission success? Nope. All right. If there's actually still, like, a cyber disc in this map, I'm going to be so surprised. Let's rock. Alright, you're going to overwatch there, Kohler, maybe? Yeah, you'll overwatch there for now. Oh, there's another Seeker just came into range. Well, good thing we had that overwatch ready. And we missed wildly with it anyway. Alright. He moved into our battle scanner, which is why he immediately appeared. He's overwatching. I don't know why this is considered heavy alien activity, though. There's no mutons, no cyber discs, nothing that dangerous, really. There's 16 meld for us, though, which is pretty sweet. Move you back into cover there, Samad. But yeah, I'm really uh, unsure what makes this heavy alien activity. Big miss there. That's okay, though. The holo targeting should make it easier in the future. Let's use the shredder ammo that we brought with uh, our gunner. Where'd I put you? There you are, Jablonska. Because that way, if we can hit him, we'll be able to make him easier to kill for everybody else. We only, might even be able to just kill him straight up here. We did, in fact, do that. Is the game over now? It is. Fallen Vengeance complete. That was not as bad as I expected it to be. I mean, for a heavy alien activity mission, I was expecting much, much worse. There's that music in the store. But, uh, yeah, that, that was not as bad as I was expecting. Twelve aliens killed. Zero operatives lost. The fact that Elliot weapon missions are getting classed as heavy, though, is dangerous, because that means that the enemies are going to start getting harder. So, we're going to have to be ready for that when that happens. Let's see how we did. Unfortunately, our rookie got badly wounded, but at least he survived. How are we doing here? Myers got a promotion. He's Ouija. Loco Samad. Loco Samad, you're probably going to take... Not Gunslinger, I don't think. I might give you Aggression just for the fun of it. I normally like giving people Tactical Sense. <sighs> what are the stat bonuses? One aim for Gunslinger. That's not very useful. Um, you know what? Let's take Aggression. Why not? And Myers. You're taking Paramedic because... All, all medics seem to need paramedic, in my opinion. And yay! Fisher did get promotion to a scout sniper. Okay, so he's not going to be an in infantry, but he might be a sniper for us. We'll see. 36 days wounded. Jeez. 
We do got an alien carbine as well. Three sectoid corpses, three floater corpses, two thin men corpses, another thin man captive, four illyrium, four alien alloys, eight weapon fragments, 17 meld, which is awesome, and three seeker wrecks. And it decreased in Canada. We got 100 credits. Awesome. Touch, Commander. So if we check out now our gray market, do we only have one thin man captive? I think we sold our other one, did we not? No, nope, we have two of them now. All right. Huh. Interesting. Well, we got a lot of captives, which is good. We got more alien carbines, which we'll probably want to turn into weapons later. Unfortunately, they're carbines, which are quite as good as getting plasma weaponry, but I'm sure we'll be able to get more real laser weapons later. Plasma weapons later. Um, that's pretty awesome. We have 141 credits to spend, which we're probably going to spend in the foundry on this enhanced lasers or ballistics projects, or maybe both of them, because we can afford both of them. And... I do still want to get more kit here, like getting some more scopes might still be nice. Getting the shiv gear might still be nice. But... I think we're going to do those foundry projects, because those might make a whole bunch of our weapons just plain better. So we're going to get enhanced lasers for sure. It's going to take a billion days to finish, but I think it's going to help us. So we'll begin that project, and we'll do enhanced ballistics, because you don't know what that's going to do. Let's begin that project. It only takes six days. We'll find out when it's finished, most likely. The foundry is already warm. Okay, we have three credits sure left. That seems fine to me. I think we're probably going to end this episode here for now. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Sorry for the interruption in the middle there, but sometimes these things, ha these things happen. So I look forward to seeing you guys in the next episode. Like I've said, this is Vanguard of Valor playing some XCOM Enemy Within Long War for you, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Until then, bye bye